Hi guys. Now in this video, in the previous video rather, we you were introduced rather to a what a quadratic expression is. Now in this video we'll be looking at how do we identify the value of a, the value of b and the value of c. So as we had started out with the general form of a quadratic and we said that in its general form a quadratic looks something like this ax squared plus bx plus c. Now if I should ask you what is the value of a I would love for you to identify in a quadratic b and c. So let's look at uh, some quadratics that have numbers in it now. Let's say I had 3x squared plus 4 x plus 2 okay I could have asked what is the value of a and by comparison you would have see, say there well then 3 is in front of x squared so a is 3 so you can say then a is equal to 3 I could also ask you for the value of b and b is in front of x and if you look carefully here 4 is in front of x so b would be equal to 4 okay and again I could ask you what is the value of C and C is the constant and you notice we have a number here which is 2 so C would be 2 and that's how you identify what is A, B and C in a quadratic expression okay let's look at another example quickly before we go so let me just split the screen here okay now now in the second example all right just let me change my color all right good now i have let's say for example i am going to use another form because I don't want you to be used to that when you look in books if you see if you don't see ax squared plus bx plus c then it's not a quadratic they could also use other letters to represent a quadratic such as p x squared plus q x plus r okay and as you notice I just change the variables but if you should look carefully it is the same thing I want if any any area of math that you're doing and you come across a quadratic not because it's not in this form doesn't mean that it's not a quadratic what makes it a quadratic is the fact that the highest power of the variable in x is 2 or x squared now let's just look at another example uh, let's say you were given uh, 5x squared minus x minus 3 okay and you're asked to identify p or q or r again you'd go through the same process right you would say p is equal to and p is in front of the x square and again 5 is in front of it so p is 5 okay and then my q is the coefficient of the term in x so q would be equal to and if you notice the coefficient of x here there would be a 1 there and that is what that you have to carry the sign so this is a negative 1 okay and my coefficient for 3 would be negative 3 always remember this sign sorry for r rather is equal to negative 3 and that's it that's how we identify the letters the numbers or the coefficients and the constant in a quadratic expression thank you if you have any comments or if you're still not clear feel free to leave your comments or ask a question. We'll get back to you. Bye-bye.